Hi there. Today is Tuesday the 21st of March, so it's National Poetry Day. And just to celebrate, I'm going to read to you a couple of poems from my published collections. I've got The Redundancy of Tautology, which is quite an experimental one, and A Model Archaeologist, which is um, kind of a fictional series of lyrical anecdotes. Okay, so let's read from Redundancy of Tautology. This is page 19. Don't shoot him next to the drinking water. What is this? I'm reading and I'm actually starting to enjoy the syntax, rhythm. Then I stumble upon a seed. Not a seed, a hole, a cigarette burn, or not, since there aren't any charred edges. It's a shape, a sphere, marring the surface of my mind. This page is white. Stare at it for a while and you'll see the veins of the bloated dead body encompassing it. The bleach wasn't used to make the pages any less caustic. The black shape is a fake elixir. Imperfect opal. There are flaws. Don't bite. Warning. There may be lead bits in it. Okay, and let's read 22, page 22, Meta Malfunction. You can talk about this and this and this, but not that. You can talk in dark, shady corners of the mind. We can talk in dark, shady pubs. We can talk about anything, everything, except that one thing. Not that. Implosion imminent in five, four, three, two, one. Pop, fizzle. Okay. Uh, a model archaeologist. Um, okay, I'll read to you page 37, Fragmenta. Seven hours excavating Bronze Age cremation remains and out pops a piece of urn. I hold it now, but who was the last person to hold it before me? Who mourned a loved one and buried them tenderly 4,000 years ago? Okay, and I'll read you page 61, Camaraderie. It's funny how the harshest weather and worst facilities and lowest morale on a dig can bring people closer. During the bitter winter in my first year as an archaeologist, eight of us dropped our trowels and huddled together for warmth. When one of us fell into the barbed wire fence in dark winter mornings, the others would rally round and untangle him or her. One day, a friend and I started sinking in deep mud. The others pulled us out, and though we lost our boots, we kept our spirits high. It's sad now to think that when the dig was over, we all went our separate ways. But the memories of solidarity will always stay. Okay, so both of those collections are available um, Kindle Unlimited, paperback, and I'm a archaeologist hardcover. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.